today on Florida Sportsman Best Boat. For anglers looking to sight fish on the flats, we'll be taking a look at the Dolphin 18 Backcountry Pro. You know what all great flats have in common? You have to cross open water to get there. That may be where I appreciated the Dolphin 18 the best. If you require a boat built for fishing along the mangroves and off the beaches, we'll be looking at the Schaefer S240. Being on the boat today, there was a lot of wind. There was a nice chop going out. With that and the weight from other boats, I realized how stable this boat is. For the boater that wants speed, range, and serious offshore fishing capability, we'll be taking a look at the Contender 44 ST. Now another advantage you're going to find running in a boat like this 44 Contender is the ride. At 44 feet, this is a 19,600 pound boat. This boat eats up the waves. All coming up on Florida Sportsman Best Boat. Welcome to another episode of Florida Sportsman Best Boat. We got three great boats this week and I can't wait to get started. We're gonna start this week with the Dolphin Backcountry Pro 18. Guys, I gotta tell you, when I get on a flats boat, I'm always like, nope, one to two people, max. Not this beauty. Three of us sat perfectly on there and fished all day. It was a great ride. The Dolphin was very cool, Lori. Another cool boat we're gonna look at today is the Schaefer 240V. Now, I love what Ben Schaefer's doing over there at his shop. The 240V is really the finished product of 20 years of evolution in that hull design, only it takes it way outside of the realm of just a West Coast tarpon boat. This boat is a boat that anybody anywhere is going to love to fish on. But how about this? I got to ride on the 44 ST Contender today, the new flagship of the Contender line. There is something about being in an unlimited boat, and this boat really falls into that class. You leave the jetties, you can go anywhere, George. You heard of a hot bite 100 miles away, you're there greatest feeling in the world. Well, I'm disappointed I missed the Contender 44, I'm not gonna lie, but I get to see it now with our viewers, so let's look at the boats for the week. When we return, our hosts take a look at a flats boat designed to handle open water chop with ease and fish very shallow waters, the Dolphin 18 Backcountry Pro. But first, let's join our hosts as they discuss the powerful new Yamaha 425 horsepower XTO Offshore in this week's power segment. Rye Landry, the 425 Yamaha. I saw it first, the XTO in Miami a year and a half ago. It's been a huge success. Absolutely, so when we first set out to develop the XTO, it was really how do you go about building and actually powering the next generation of center console boats? Because as you know, boats are getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And what we've really seen is it's not only the large center consoles like the one we're on here, but even singles. We're seeing these XTOs show up on pontoon boats on large bay boats, 26, 27, 28 foot, and it just does a fantastic job. This motor now has 12.2 to one compression ratio, and the biggest benefit you get out of that is more low range and mid range torque. So we can turn that big massive propeller on this thing to produce the incredible thrust that a huge boat like this actually needs to get up on plane and get it up to a good solid top speed. And the other benefits, like the 100% electric steering, the thrust enhancing exhaust, the high output charging system, the fact that you can change the lower unit fluid without taking the boat out of the water, just adds to the creature comforts that the boat builder can put into the boat and makes for a better customer experience. What a great step into the future. Congratulations to you guys. Thank you very much, Rick. Appreciate it. This segment brought to you by Two Rivers Boat Works. Exceptional design, quality, and craftsmanship. Dreaming of transforming your boat into the envy of the fleet? The experts at Two Rivers Boat Works are dedicated to customizing your boat to your specific needs and personality. Specializing in fiberglass and composites repair, professional painting, systems installation, and more. Founded by boating enthusiasts, we understand the enjoyment of being on the water, offering exceptional design, craftsmanship, and quality so you can spend more time on the water than dreaming about it. Visit our facility in Stewart, Florida and turn your boating dreams into reality. Welcome back to Florida Sportsman Best Boat. Join our hosts as they take a closer look at the Dolphin 18 Backcountry Pro. 
Representing the flats boat category, the Dolphin 18 Backcountry Pro has an overall length of 17 feet 10 inches, a beam of 7 feet 7 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 150. Designed to easily navigate shallow inshore waters and handle a chop in the bay, she has a draft of 10 inches, a dead rise of 20 degrees, a dry weight of 950 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 39 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts. Buddy, today we got a special day planned here. We get to enjoy the day on a boat, a brand actually that's got such a history in Florida. And today we're gonna get to enjoy the day on this Dolphin 18-foot Backcountry Pro. You know, one thing that I was thinking about this morning is that this company has changed hands a number of times over the years, but it keeps coming back. And this boat is so popular, it just keeps getting new life breathed into it. And the present owners right now have got big plans for the company. I'm excited about this day. So many of the boats that we pull up to fish on, it's like we've arrived with a symphony, right? This morning, I'm looking forward to some fish getting hooked, thinking, where'd he come from? Because we can creep through just about anything silently in this boat. It's a beautiful day. What do you say we go do a little Let's fishing? go. If you're the kind of angler who fishes across a lot of open water and finds yourself anchored up on an oceanside flat where the water gets chopped up, maybe two to three foot, or you've got to cross a big bay to get to where you're going to go fishing, you're going to find something about the Dolphin 18 Backcountry Pro that comes in really handy, and that's dead rise. This boat features 20 degrees of dead rise, which is a lot for a boat like this. A boat in this style typically has got a flat bottom. Now this dead rise is gonna add a real soft element to the ride and it's absolutely gonna keep you dry. There was a chop and of course there's always boat wakes going by and such. Didn't even bother this thing. She was like a rock going through the boat wakes. And that's important because it's not enough to just be on a flat. You gotta be able to get there and get back comfortably and the dolphin did it perfectly. You know, another thing is, is if you're sitting in an inlet and a boat weight goes by too, the added freeboard on this boat is gonna keep the boat dry as well. Every time I look at a flats boat, riding across boat wakes and riding in a heavier chop, it looks scary to me, but I was amazed at how dry we were. 50 miles an hour was a breeze and she didn't put a drop on anybody. Now, is this boat a technical bowling skiff? Absolutely not. At 17 feet, 10 inches long by 7'7 seven, seven wide, this is a much bigger footprint in the water than your average little skinny water polling skiff. But don't get me wrong, the boat is absolutely capable of being pulled. It'll float in 10 inches of water, and it's not all that difficult to push this boat around on the pole. Now, get this. We had a pair of 15-pound jack crevals fall in love with the push pole George was pushing us with. Every time it hit the sand, it puffed up a little, a little puff of sand, and they came rushing in to see what was there. They knew the push pole was there. They had no idea the boat was there. Now, at 17, 10 inches long by 7 feet, 7 inches wide, another thing that you're going to really appreciate is the real estate on this boat. Now, three people can sit across the back bench behind the console, and there's an additional seat in the front of the console for a fourth. I wouldn't fish four people off of this boat, but three people can fish off of it plenty comfortably. The space on the back casting deck and the space on the forward casting deck is all you need. This is a roomy boat. For, a, for an 18-footer, there's a lot going on. The Dolphin was so wide, she had a great beam, she had wide gunnels. We were running up and down the sides of the boat, and you never felt what the other guys were doing. The boat was just that stable. This boat's got two live wells totaling nearly 40 gallons, and this boat handles it with no problem whatsoever. Let me tell you, our live bait dealer felt sorry for us this morning, or maybe he was anxious to leave but he loaded us up with as many pilchards as you could possibly go through in a day. For the Dolphin, it was no strain. We fired up two live wells. We pitched every one of them back when we got home. They were alive and swimming. One of the keys on an 18-foot boat, if you're gonna have three people, you've gotta be able to store numerous rods, and you could do it with the under gunnel rod holders on the Dolphin. Now, the reason those worked was because they had the tubes just the right size. Another one of my pet peeves, the rod slid in and out of there just as easy as could be. We had lures to throw at fish. We had plenty of live bait rigs. We were set to go. We had all the rods we needed out of the way. Gosh, if we ever all gotten spoiled with high performance coolers. Well, I tell you, Dolphin built one right into their boat, just ahead of the console. We poured a bag of ice in there this morning, lasted all day long, kept our drinks good and cold. That's what a cooler is supposed to do. The newest owners of this company have got big plans for it, and this boat has hit a level of finish work and absolute beauty that it's never seen before. The Dolphin you know from 30, 40 years ago, and the Dolphins of 2020 are two completely different animals. This boat is finally finished.
listen, this is a great boat. I mean, for a boat to do a bunch of different things inshore and be able to get you outside in some rough weather, it's fast. The finish work is beautiful on it. I mean, everything about this boat is quality. There's a lot of clever little details. I mean, there's a good reason why this boat is very popular there. Son, let me tell you something. The Dolphin Backcountry Pro 18 has earned her spot in the Flats Boat Hall of Fame. When we return, our hosts examine a boat built for inshore fishing with offshore capabilities, the Schaefer S240. This segment brought to you by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. An entirely new species of extreme predator is moving offshore. The Yamaha 5.6 liter V8 XTO offshore outboard. Extreme big block thrust and power in the industry's first direct injection four stroke. Quiet, efficient, powerful, and proven Yamaha reliability. More than an outboard, it's a fully integrated power system. The all new Yamaha V8 XTO offshore. Welcome back to Florida Sportsman Best Boat. Join our hosts as they take a closer look at the Schaefer S240. Representing the bay boat category, the Schaefer S240 has an overall length of 24 feet, a beam of 8 feet 6 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 300. Built for inshore and offshore fishing, she has a draft of 13 inches, a dead rise of 14 degrees, a dry weight of 3,200 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 100 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts. Guys, we got a special day planned here. We're on the Schaefer 240V. You know, I've been looking forward to fishing on this boat. It's a really historical boat in Florida fishing. More importantly, we're lucky enough to get to spend the day with Ben Schaefer, the guy who designed it and builds the boat. How cool is that? Oh, yeah, I'm going to tell you how cool it is. I have watched Ben tweak this basic idea for 20 years now. Seems like every year gets better. I'm excited to pick everybody's brain today and get a little boat history and education on the Schaefer. You're gonna learn a lot. Let's go fishing. Now this is a boat that was widely used as a West Coast guide boat for drifting in the passes, tarpon fishing, but a boat that would also get you up in shallow water. Now Ben Schaefer took that design into the 21st century. Over the course of the last two decades or so, he's refined that design to the point, the boat that we're looking at right now, it's really something. Now, let me tell you, the boat could have handled the ocean, but one look at it from Lori and George and I, we knew we were having no part of being offshore today. Our original plan this day was to find some tarpon rolling up in the river. Well, 20 to 25 mile an hour winds kind of changed things up for us and forced us back into a canal to get out of the wind. I got up on the bow of this boat and we started looking along some seawalls, dropped that trolling motor, put the anchor lock down, and sat there and waited to find some cruising fish. And boy, standing up on the deck of that boat was really stable and allowed us to see fish coming down the seawall a lot better. So I was there to help with tackle and there was tackle in the bow and there was a side compartment on the console, another tackle station. So I just kept handing it back and forth today to help the boys. I've seen a million live wells. This one was unique for one reason. Not only was it big and oval and pumped a lot of water, all day in that live well, not one dead filter to be found. Now one feature that's a very popular option with the Schaefer 240V is the addition of a second station. The boat that we tested had their full tower, which was really useful in a couple of different ways. From a navigation standpoint, the tower can be really useful. If you find yourself running in shallow water trying to navigate your way through kind of dicey channels or along the edge of a flat, which we did on this day, it's super useful to be able to monitor your depth and see obstacles coming your way. Getting up that high changes your whole perspective. We were praying we could find some rolling tarpon in the river because we couldn't be offshore. Unfortunately, I spent a lot of time up there. I was comfortable that tarpon weren't showing. Now in another setting, I was able to use the tower to my advantage to spot some snook cruising in the mangroves. We put the power poles down, got in a deep channel along the edge of the mangroves, and my anglers on the deck, they couldn't see these fish coming, but from my vantage point on the tower, I saw the snook coming ahead of time, told them where to cast, and we were able to convert that into bites. The Schaefer 240V has a big casting platform. The two guys from Schaefer were standing up there bombing those snook, and they had all the room they ever needed. The bow compartments on this Schaefer is a dream come true. The fish box, yes, insulated. If you're not putting fish in there, is storage. And there's dividers, just like you have in coolers, and you can divide. They provide you with dividers, so you make it to what you want for storage for the day. In front of that, two more compartments on your port side and starboard side, large enough that both 
of my five gallon buckets I brought today fit in there along with other gear. The boat seems so much bigger than a 24 because you could fish all the way to the transom. The motor being on a bracket outside of the boat gave it that gorgeous closed transom look and gave you a ton of room to fish. Fishing off the transom was also made a lot easier because there's a secondary live well back there. You don't have to walk up to the main well every time you need a bait. That meant you didn't have to take your eyes off the action. Ben Schaefer's apparently applied the keep it simple rule, which makes a lot of sense for this boat. Dividing up the systems into three separate areas, one, the console, which is extremely accessible through a large opening in the front of the console. Second, pumps, hydraulics, everything required in the back of the boat that needs to stay out of the bilge and away from the salt is incorporated into the transom, also very easy to access. And last, the build systems, easily accessible through a hatch opening in the cockpit, all your pumps right there, everything you need to control, live wells, build pumps, everything is right there and easy to put your hands on. Guys, today we got to spend the day on the Schaefer 240V. What a blast. Yeah, you know what, this is a great boat, Rick. You talk a little bit about what happened to us today, all right? We were gonna go on the beach on this boat. It was blowing 20 miles an hour when we left the dock. We needed to pivot. And the versatility of this boat really came through for us today in a pinch. We got back up in the river, we fished some seawalls and some canals, we got up on the flat and the mangroves. You know, it does more than just what we wanted to do, and when we needed it, it produced. This boat was fishing. Bingo, you nailed it on the head, okay? Ben Schaefer builds fishing boats. If you want a boat to do a ton of things, there's a lot of boats for that. You want a great fishing boat, the Schaefer 240V is one you gotta see. When we come back, our hosts look at a boat designed for hardcore offshore fishing, the Contender 44ST. This segment brought to you by Suzuki, the ultimate outboard motor. Welcome back to Florida Sportsman Best Boat. Join our hosts as they check out the Contender 44 ST. Representing the 33 to 53 foot class in the center console category, the Contender 44 ST has an overall length of 43 feet 10 inches, a beam of 12 feet, and a max horsepower rating of 2000. Engineered for speed and blue water fishing, she has a draft of 27 inches a dead rise of 22.7 degrees, a weight of 19,600 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 600 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts. You talk about a day with unlimited possibilities, this is it. How about 44 feet of contender, 600 gallons of fuel, and a maximum of 2,000 horsepower? That's a lot to swallow there, Rick, I'm telling you. You know what? To be competitive nowadays, you've got to have a bunch of guys, each with their own job assigned to them, and fish the maximum amount of spread that you can put in the water. These guys are doing it with eight, nine people on the boat. Eight, nine people on this boat would get lost. I can't wait to go fishing, let's get at it. New from Contender for this year is their newest flagship, the 44ST. Now this is the largest boat the Contender's built to date, and you might ask yourself, why do I need a center console this big? People that fish in South Florida, where we're from, fishing a lot of really rough weather in the winter time. Anglers who enjoy the convenience of fishing in a center console style boat and want to get out on those rough days find a 44 or larger size boat much more useful than their smaller center console for obvious reasons. You've got room for a larger crew. You can be more competitive as a result. You've got a bigger footprint to spread baits out upwind and downwind on the boat and cover a larger area, which is going to increase your likelihood of getting a bite on those competitive tournament style days. The Contender 44 ST, the flagship of their line, there's just unlimited possibilities as to where you can go, what style of fishing you can do, and what kind of weather you can fish. It's you that decides whether you want to stay out there in rough weather. Not that boat. If you can handle it, the boat sure can. Now another advantage you're going to find running in a boat like this 44 Contender is the ride. This boat rides like a champ, like all contenders honestly, and at 44 feet this is a 19,600 pound boat. This boat eats up the waves. 
Now you're gonna feel that 19,600 pounds when you're underway. I rode in every position on this boat from the front to the back to driving it at the helm and nowhere was I getting beat up in rough weather on this boat when I ran it. The Contender 44 could have handled a much bigger sea than we were in. I love their radius style glass. This enclosure has got a curved Stratoglass windshield that's absolutely viewable. I mean, you're no obstructions in your way when you're running the boat. Another thing is the helm face is really easy to look at. There's plenty of room for a pair of 24 inch Garmin displays, which we had, and triple ladder back teak, really trimmed out, big boat style helm chairs are very comfortable to fish out of too, and adds an element of style to the boat as well. For a boat to be in the unlimited class, it obviously has to be capable of doing more than one kind of fishing. That means you need to carry all the tackle you can, and we could have taken a tackle shop in the tackle station behind the helm on the contender. It was a piece of cake to get stuff out, rig up, without ever leaving the cockpit. We decided to set up a drift for sailfish. We had four people drifting along the side of the boat with their baits out. We could have worked in a fifth rod. There was all the room you need. The Contender brand was born in an area where live bait fishing is king, and they've absolutely got you covered in that department as well. This boat sports two 55-gallon live wells and another 110-gallon live well in the deck. With a total of 220 gallons of live well space, most people are never going to find themselves in a jam with this. You can put more bait than you're ever going to need in any circumstance in this boat. Now, personally, I like a boat with an open bow, and I really enjoy a lot of room to move around, okay? Contender has come up with a real clever compromise that's gonna to appeal to the family and the serious angler, and that's adding a sun lounge in the front. This forward sun lounge is gonna give you a place to lay down. The space beneath that sun lounge offers you a lot of storage. There's three separate storage compartments underneath there, and that gives you a place to keep a lot of your gear dry. Now, something that really stood out to me was the forward seating. What Contender has done is, rather than having that seating intrude into the center deck, they've recessed that forward seating underneath the gunnel cap. That really frees up a ton of space, and of course, you can get all the way forward to work a fish around the bow or deal with your anchor as well. This makes a ton of sense to me. Now, if you've watched this show before, you know that I'm a really big fan of towers on boats. This boat, a 44-footer like this, has got a tower and there's a stability in a boat this size that goes with it that's gonna make you a lot more comfortable and give you that height advantage. And you're actually gonna be able to see a lot more from up there and see fish that you might not otherwise have seen from being in that elevated position. Buddy, you know I've been working on boats all my life. Now over 40 years I've been running boats for a living. Everything you need as a tournament fisherman or a recreational fisherman just trying to have some fun is on this boat. They pack a lot of style into it. This boat is a home run, Rick. If you want to boldly go where few men have gone before, I got to tell you, the Contender 44 ST will get you there in a hurry. Guys, what a week we had. We had a flats boat, we had a central console, and then we had the big dog Contender 44. Talk about a fun week. And I can't wait to see what's on the docket for next week. Hey, if you'd like any more information about the boat you saw this week or any boat you see on Best Boat, visit us at floridasportsman.com. Or we'll see you next week on another episode of Florida Sportsman Best Boat.